With the Flash movie coming out pretty soon of this year, it had me pretty excited to see how they would give the treatment to either Barry Allen or Wally West within the DC Universe. I'm likewise and intended to believe that the intended person of choice will be Wally will be Barry Allen instead of Wally West and probably setting up Wally for the next possible future. While I'll be honest, I've never been a f huge fan of the Scarlet Speedster, I can still appreciate the Flash for what he's worth, and he still is a cool character to me, and I'm excited for the movie. And words there's all great heroes, there has to be some all great villains. I will unleash the universe and welcome to the Lazy Universe Top 10 because I'm very excited for the Flash movie. Now I haven't seen the trailer, I have seen Easter eggs to the trailer, but I am trying to stay away from the trailer, at least until Super Bowl comes up, and then we will see if I'm right with some of my picks. Now some of these picks are going to be very obscure for Flash villains, but keep in mind that they can officially work, especially in the Flash's world. Now, just keep in mind, this is just my top 10 of the villains that I want to see in this. I did see rumors of one that I did put at number 2 on this list, which had me a little bit disappointed. But, neither, nonetheless, I will be talking about probably who should be in the first pick. So... Just keep in mind that this is just my top 10 pick of villains that I would love to see in the, in the upcoming Flash movie. And it, but once next month comes and we get to see who the main villain is, it will be pretty much worth wait the hype. So, let's not waste any time. This is the top 10 villains I like to see in the Flash movie. Number 10. At number 10, Captain Boomerang. Now, I put num Captain Boomerang at number 10 because it's honestly that he probably wouldn't be in the Flash movie aside from maybe a mention or small cameo. And yes, let us not forget that his big main cameo uh, appearance was in the Suicide Squad from years past to years ago, and he did die in the Suicide Squad. So. I don't think that Captain Boomerang will be coming back anytime soon. But hell, even if not just for a small cameo, or even an Easter egg or mention, at least Captain Boomerang will still technically be in the hearts of people and alive in our hearts. Unfortunately, in the Flash and DC Universe, he is considered dead. At number 9, Golden Glider. Now, to a lot of DC comic fan, that makes no damn sense to a lot of people to use Golden Glider. But I beg to differ because if you were a fan of the Flash series, Golden Glider did appear on the Flash series and she was Captain Cold's <clears throat> uh, sister. And she have gotten superpowers uh, somehow, according to her origin. But if either way, if DC decided to make her a super uh, metahuman or make her like her brother and ha just have not superpowers but instead like some just generic abilities, nobody would really mind. But just keep in contact that Golden Glider does have a huge following and fan base, but it would be nice to see her in the film, even if the opening scene was like Captain Cold and Golden Glider helping each other commit a crime. It's not much, but it would be something that would be pretty much of a nice mention, especially to do for the Flash movie. At number 8, Elongated Man. Again, for fans of the Flash series, this makes sense, because in his first appearance, Elongated Man was a villain of the Flash. So making him make an appearance in this, either as a detective that was alongside the Flash, which does end up happening later on in the Flash's run, or just making him a villain would honestly make sense, because that's what Elongated Man was long before he became an ally of the Flash. He was a weird, really weird, unique villain in the Flash's lifespan, but it would be some worth something just to have him at least in there, maybe as like the detective while Digby, before he gets his powers, maybe later in the film he gets his powers and he blames the Flash for it. That would be a very cool, really unique idea. Although I highly doubt that that is something that they're going to do, but hey, it would make a lot of people happy that really do like Elongated Man, or for people that have heard about him, especially seen him in the Flash series, but never knew what he was. So maybe doing that would make it pretty well accessible, and also he is quite... At number 7, The Pied Piper. 
Here's another obscure villain that was joined on to the ally in the Flash history, the Pied Piper. A lot like the rat catcher for Batman fans who recognize the kind of go, Oh, right, that makes sense. The Pied Piper is a very unique villain. He's deaf and hard of hearing, much like me myself, for those of you that don't know. And it would make sense to have him in the film, especially for those that are hard of hearing themselves. Maybe have him be friends with Barry Allen like he remembers this really weird kid in the background that used to play with rats and play a pipe and play a pied pipe. And then later on in his life, he would end up becoming known as the superhero Pied Piper. It does make sense, and especially that he can mostly just use hypnotic, hypnotic tones on rats. Which, again, would make him like Ratcatcher from the Suicide Squad, which is not a bad thing. We can do that. But also, it would be awesome because deaf people is not something that a lot of people really know about. So you can have him speak sign language, and you can just sign under the cap, like sign the cap caption the signs so people know what he's saying. It would be a cool little thing to do, especially that Marvel is doing the same thing with Echo, who is also a deaf superhero, so I think it would be really cool to set up Pied Piper in the film. Maybe if not as the main villain or even an ally, it would be nice to see him still set it up in a way, like I said, maybe have Barry Allen have this really unique friend that plays with rats and would later on become an ally of the Flash. Just something that would be kind of cool. At number six, the Weather Wizard. <laughs> Weather Wizard did make an appearance in Superman the Animated Series in the episode Speed Demons, where Superman and the Flash basically first had their team up, for those of you unaware. And it would make sense to have Weather Wizard basically be in the series. You could do the same concept from the Superman the Animated Series and just kind of roll with the punches. Or in that really weird 90s Justice League movie. Oh, that it does exist, and a lot of you are probably thinking that I'm wrong. No, it exists. Go and look it up. It did exist. It did happen. Why it happened and why it exists, I will never know. Nobody does. But Weather Wizard does, would make a pretty awesome, but yet goofy kind of Flash villain, but he does have his ways in basically being in the Flash's history, especially in being in the comic that, well, while we watch, will first appear. So, yeah, I mean, you can make him the escaped criminal who gets help from his brother who steals this weather technology, maybe like a weather suit, where he can create and cast whatever weather that he wants to and keep the world in harm until they meet his demands. It would be great to do, which maybe they might have him in there, and maybe they might not have him as the main villain. I'm gonna guess a giant fat no, but it would be nice to maybe have him in there, like I said, like I said with Captain Cold and uh, Golden Glider. It would be cool also to get Weather Wizard as a villain, although I'm skeptical in thinking that they might do that. At number five, Guru Agrod. Ah, yes, the big giant monkey himself, Guru Agrod. Why an obscure choice? There are a lot of people who do really like Guru Agrod, so I could see him being in the, vi in the movie. Do I think that he'll make the main villain? Eh, hardly. But you could have it be that a professor or a scientist is working on him and making him the most experimental thing ever, or do what everybody else does and do a robot. But come on, Gorilla Grodd has a fan base, and I'm pretty sure that some people would probably like to see him in the Flash movie, at least making a certain cameo of some sort. Number 4, Captain Cold. Ah uh, yes, one of Flash's oldest and probably most well-known rogues, Captain Cold. Could set him up in the Flash movie that he's this great professor that worked on a cold experiment where he went wrong, kind of went crazy, and basically wanted to use it against the entire world of Central City. He probably won't be in the film, maybe he will as a cameo, but it would be nice to see Captain Cold since I've always had a soft spot for this cold-hearted villain. Now in my luck, he probably won't appear, but instead he might appear, or rather he'll be, Duck on Ice. At number 3, The Trickster. Whether it be Axel Walker or Jesse James, Trickster would be a very great enemy to use in the Flash movie. Maybe have it be that this young boy had stumbled across Jesse James' old, ca old caverns or old hideout, kind of like what James Franco did when he found the Green Goblin's hideout and became New Goblin. And then it 
and then have it be from there that Jesse James had to team up with Flash in a sense to kind of let him hunt down this humanoid trickster. Yes, I know that the Flash movie is basically going to be Flashpoint Paradox. That's the biggest thing, especially with a cameo from Michael Keaton. But if you want to keep in turn with a cameo, have Mark Hamill make a cameo. He did play the original trickster in the Flash series with John Ludwig Shipp. And in case a lot of you don't think that that was true, <laughs> yes it was. Go and look it up. I can guarantee a lot of you will once this video is done. But yes, you can probably be getting a cameo from Mark Hamill, who maybe probably told this Flash, whether it be Barry or Wally, you know, what he had been through, what everything happened, and basically tell him, like, maybe that there's a new trickster that he needs to be on the lookout for, and maybe it will be Axel Walker. I doubt Trickster would make an appearance, even if he even if he does make an appearance of, like, one of the enemies that Flash just has to temporarily deal with, but it would be kind of nice to have him make a cameo in the movie. But again, I'm not holding my breath. And I really don't think he is going to be in the movie, so, uh, let's just keep our fingers crossed and maybe hopefully that he will, or at least Mark Hamill will make a cameo. At number two, Mirror Master. Alright, so while I know I can't believe everything, there is a lot of, like, rumors and speculation going around that for the Flash movie, the main villain is probably going to be Mirror Master, which I think is a cool choice because Mirror Master is honestly a cool villain. He's a guy with a mirror gun and can teleport into what is known as the Mirror Dimension, <laughs> kind of like Doctor Strange in a sense, and he can re exit and reappear in any mirror that he so chooses. Would would be kind of cool to see it, but in a Flash movie, maybe he can trap him in a mirror dimension, and in this mirror dimension is where he meets a lot of the other uh, superheroes like Michael Keaton's Batman, and maybe a few other cameos here and there, from, far from in between. I do think that Mirror Master might be made the main villain of the movie, like maybe Mirror Master would be betrayed or dismayed. And so he wants to get revenge, and in order to do this, he trapped a bunch of people in the mirror dimension that Flash has to go and save. Now, I do admit, it would be cool to see Mirror Master in this domain, you know, have him be like this big scientist that worked on a mirror gun. He suddenly gets this, like, big grant that he's wishing for, and then they turn him down in the long run, kind of like Riddler from Batman the Animated Series. And then just have him just kind of snap and be turned into a main villain. I'm just saying it's probably not going to happen, and no, my luck, it's really not going to happen. But it would be kind of cool to see him in the movie if he is going to be the main enemy, because Mirror Master is a Flash villain not a lot of people have heard about. And now for the number one pick, who I believe will be the main villain of the movie, and the one that probably a lot of people want to see as the main villain. And finally at number one, Zoom, or the Reverse Flash. It's more than likely that Eobard Thawne, or the Reverse Flash, or Zoom, will be the main villain of the Flash movie. Of that, I have no doubt, but of that, I might be hoping for. Have it be like the Flashpoint Paradox. Have it be that Barry Allen accidentally ran back in time to save his mother, while, of course, screwing up the course of history and changing everything he knows and loves. No, I'm not saying that we have to have Wonder Woman and Aquaman fight, although it's badass as that would be. But just have him basically fuck with Barry's head like, dude, you fucking destroyed the world and now you're gonna pay for it, so what in hell are you gonna do about it? So, making an interesting twist that instead of Barry, it was actually Thawne that was behind everything. And have him pull the trigger, but have Barry think that he did it. Again, it's not likely, or it is likely, that Professor Zoom will be in the movie. Yet, however, I am very doubtful that he will be in the movie for very long or the main enemy. But again, Zoom would make an excellent villain just to make a cameo, at least in the film, and had me hoping that we might get to see him in the Flash movie. And those are my top 10 villains that I wish I want to see appear in the Flash movie. Like I said, I haven't really been a big fan of the Scarlet Speedster, but case in point, I am very excited for his movie, and I'm very excited to see how it turns out. So are you very excited for the Flash for the Flash movie, let me know in the comments down below, and let me know if you agree with my list, or if you think that somebody else should take the main villain point, at least in his movie, maybe a villain that I don't know about, maybe somebody like Prometheus, or the top, yes, the top is an actual Flash villain, you should know this, 
or maybe even Deathstroke can make a cameo. But whatever the case, I really do hope the best for the Flash movie, and hopefully that the Super Bowl trailer will live up to expectations as it so pleased to. So, keep in mind guys to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me at Twitter with the link in the description down below. And again, I'm very excited for the Flash movie, and I hope that you are too. And until then, <clears throat> and until then Flash fans, hang in there, and let's hope that the Flash movie will give us what we are hoping for.